later that day. What happened to Charlie? I'm not crazy, Theodore. But if that woman isn't Charlie, who is she? Sammy? Charlie's twin? It could be short for Samantha. Maybe when Samantha was kidnapped, she wasn't murdered. What if Charlie's twin is still alive? And not only alive, but raised by Springtrap by William Afton. Shaped and molded by a psychopath for 17 years, primmed with all the knowledge Afton could glean from Charlie's life, now sent to take Charlie's place. But why? What would be the point? And how could Afton know anything about Charlie's life after her dad died? She moved away. Nobody saw her for years when she lived with her Aunt Jen. <laughs> Never done that before. Clay, uh, hey, come in. I wanted to see how you were doing. Really? Didn't we have that talk yesterday? Yeah, well, you can never be too sure. What do you know about Charlie's Aunt Jen? She became very eager to see you again when I mentioned that you had seen her Aunt Jen before the house collapsed. It made me realize that there is a lot we don't know about that night. I know you're seeing Charlie tonight. If she could tell you where her Aunt Jen is, you're acting awfully different than Pep Talk Clay from the other night. I understand. It's just we found some things in the wreckage. I don't know how to describe them. Scary thing? Dave William Afton thing? Spring trap? Whatever. I'm not ready to declare him dead, and I think Charlie is holding something back, and she might feel comfortable sharing that with me. Maybe that feels more morally ambiguous. Does it always do that? No. The murmuring is 